Hey guys, so this video is definitely a little bit different, but it's way more aligned with what I'm passionate about. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I've been enjoying uploading these cooking foods, but at the core of my heart, I love giving, crafting, and DIYing. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video because it's something I'm super passionate about. And with Mother's Day around the corner, I have seen this on Pinterest and I've actually given this as a gift to moms in the past. My mom, Matt's mom, um, grandmas and stuff like that. So I really wanna share with you guys cause it's super inexpensive and it's very, very thoughtful and it's actually really, really pretty and it could be a really good decor piece. So it's not just one of those like, oh, thanks, that's thoughtful. Like I feel like you can actually display it and feel really good about it. So we are making a picture frame flower holder, super easy. I got everything from the Dollar Tree with the exception of one thing, which I'll show you at the end. But let me show you everything I got first. And because I've already given this gift to all the moms that I could think of, I'm just gonna make this for myself and put it in my craft room, which is this room. So. These are the beautiful frames I found. They might look kind of like cheap at first glance, but they're actually so, so pretty. So they're mirrors. And if you could just imagine it being like a picture frame holder, that is gonna be so pretty. This was actually newer at the Dollar Tree. So it's silver, it has mirrors. So you wanna get four picture frames that have a flat edge so that you can glue it. And then this part is up to you. You can either get the flowers from the Dollar Tree or you can go upscale and go to Michael's or you can actually buy real flowers and put them in like the day before or the day of. I opted to go the Dollar Tree route and I actually thought these were so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, most of the flowers, like the flo faux flowers from the Dollar Tree are not really pretty and you could tell they're kind of like a little bit cheap quality. Although um, some of them look good and I thought this was one of them that looked good. So it's a bundle, but it's um, a few different ones. So this is, one, this is lavender, and I'm not sure what this is, but this is another one, another one. So they're all a little bit different. And then I got these um, uh, grass tree plant, onion grass, that's what it says. And I just thought it lo would look so pretty together. And then last but not least, I forgot to get this, but they do sell these at the Dollar Tree. But when I was in Safeway briefly, I just picked this up because I was like, oh, I forgot to get it. So this will look so beautiful, real flowers or these. Now, the good thing about the faux flowers is that you can put this on display all year round and they're actually so pretty. So I'm actually so excited to put this in my room. And the last thing is a insert so that you could stick the flowers in the foam. And this is perfectly square, which would be perfect. So I'm gonna actually move this chair and show you guys how easy this is to put together. You don't have to be good at DIYing. This is just something that is so easy. You just need a glue gun and that's it. All right, let's do this. All right, hello down there. I also forgot the most important part is the photos. So I did go ahead and print these four photos, got them from CVS. And yeah, obviously you would just choose a photo of your mom or grandkids, kids, like anyone. So um, this is something that's super good to display. All right, just so you can get a better view, I am gonna put videos on the side and I'm gonna make a really short clip of this as well so you guys can see it. But uh, let's start by unwrapping these. They look even prettier when you unwrap them. They're so pretty, guys. Honestly, it kind of feels cheap, but like it looks good. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the photos to be four by four because that, those are the dimensions of these picture frames. So I'm actually gonna take the back piece out and just kind of put that over the photo so I can get the exact measurements. Okay, so this is my first four by four. Okay, so I cut all of these, and obviously if you get like a four by six frame, you don't have to do that. That's actually what I did the last time I made this as I got uh, four by six frames, but this one was four by four. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in here. It fits perfectly. And the first one, it's so pretty. <laughs> I love it. So I'm just gonna do this with all the rest. Okay, so now I have all four frames and now is the part where we glue. So you need a hot glue gun. I got this one from Michaels for like three, like, ooh, like four bucks. I get the glue gun pieces from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if they sell them still. I think they do. I just haven't got them in a long time. So let's heat this up. So as I wait for that to heat up, I'm gonna open this. 
And I'm also gonna take off all the stickers. I was actually really surprised when I saw these uh, flowers from the Dollar Tree because honestly, I've seen really similar like pre-fix like fake plants uh, with the same quality at like Home Goods and stuff like because you know some of the floral at Dollar Tree like you can tell it's like kind of like cheaply it looks just not the greatest like I try not to get the flowers from the Dollar Tree. They actually have really pretty ones at Michael's too. Obviously they're a little bit more expensive, but it kind of makes sense. So I was really, really pleased when I found this. We actually have a plant similar to this that we got from Ikea. So I was just really shocked that they sold this at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm gonna get like a cardboard so I don't get glue on my carpet. So I'm gonna put them in the order that I like. So these are really similar. So. Okay, so now you just super glue one side and then you immediately have to put the hot glue on there. So let me show you what I'm doing up close. I look ridiculous with this phone twice. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so voice over glory here because I didn't mention it on this part, but as you can see, it wasn't really laying flat and it's because I forgot to take this part that stands the frame up off. So I ended up having to peel the glue off. Okay, so I kind of messed up. You have to take this off because normally it kind of gets in the way. It doesn't make it as flat as it could be. So I'm going to just break this off. It comes off pretty easily, I believe. At least that part does. Okay, so now you can glue it. So you gotta make sure it's straight. And then once that's on there, you just kind of repeat. You wanna kind of put it on the outer edge rather than in between. Okay, and then you'll see that the last part will fit right in. Just like that. Okay, and then you just glue the last part on. Oh God, <laughs> my tri mini tripod is broken. Normally I would have had a tripod, but I had to use my knees. So your girl was struggling. I'm actually sweating. But now we have a beautiful picture frame and I honestly just love more that they're mirrors. I love this. It looks so high end just from like, I don't know, I feel like you can go in like Hallmark and see something like this. Ah, it's so pretty. Okay, so now for the fun parts. So you do have to have a base. You don't have to have a fancy looking one. I think I'm gonna just use like cardboard. So let's try to find that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure it's the right size. And sorry if I'm like super focused in and not talking as much. Whenever I do DIY crafts, I like to be very silent. So even just filming this for me is kind of awesome because I'm one to just like, I wanna do something and I get really focused. So I'm excited to share this with you guys though. So you definitely want the cardboard to be smaller than the frame, not by too much. Not that you can like glue it on, but not so big that you can see it poking out of the sides. Actually, I think I'm gonna make it smaller so that I can stick it inside of the frames rather than making it a base because I don't want to see it when you sit it down, if that makes sense. Okay, so I made it to fit exactly on the bottom, which is great. So now let me glue this with my awkward uh, stance again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do this like fast. I don't think it has to be like perfect. Oh my gosh, I did the top. Come on, Glory. really a glory video if you don't mess up right but that's the good thing about hot glue guns is that 
the glue does come off. You could even um, use like a blow dryer to melt it again, but we're just scraping it off right now. I'm a mess. I, this is just a story of my life. I'm just always a mess. <laughs> All right, guys, sorry, the battery died, so I had to change it real quick, and um, let's put this on the right way now. <laughs> At least do two sides. All right, so we got it. I think I made it more complicated than it had to be. Pretty simple concept. Anyways, now the fun part. So <laughs> put the foam block in. This is perfect because it's a square shape just like this. And although the hot glue gun does kind of like burn the foam, I'm just gonna put a little bit on so it can stay secure. Okay, so now this is what the inside should look like. And now this is really the fun part. You put the flowers in. <laughs> And honestly, you could probably buy a lot more to like make it look a lot more full, but this is what we got right now. Okay, and I think it looks so pretty already, but then you obviously want to kind of like bend these because they're kind of like wired, the flowers, so you can kind of bend it out a little bit. And then the best part is you put the heart balloon in. This is definitely, oh, it's actually a perfect height because I want it to be a little bit taller than the grass. So, stick it right in here. And then there's a few janky <laughs> uh, leaves or grass things that are like super bent and there's really no way I can fix it. So I'm gonna actually cut them so it can actually look a little bit better. It's not too many, so. Okay, but this is the finished product. I think it's so pretty. I don't know, I, I really love it. I think it would look better with more flowers in it, but this was just for the sake of the video and I think I might go back to Dollar Tree. If I could find similar plants, I definitely might add more. But this is just for me anyways, and I'm obsessed. So let me get some beauty shots of it. Right, guys I hope you enjoyed this video I sure did it's such an easy DIY and it's so inexpensive between the frames and the floral decor let's see one two three four five six seven eight this is under 10 bucks and it's so thoughtful and I truly truly believe besides the balloon you can put this around your house all year round especially around spring but I do feel like it's a really beautiful uh, decor piece so I'm definitely gonna keep it in my office and I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you want more ideas like this especially inexpensive ones. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I uh, love you guys. Bye!